You have to dream before your dreams can come true. God, our Creator, has stored within our minds and personalities great potential strength and ability. Prayer helps us tap and develop these powers. The bird is powered by its own life and by its motivation. One of the very important characteristics of a student is to question. Let the students ask questions. Where there is righteousness in the heart, there is harmony in the house. When there is harmony in the house, there is order in the nation. When there is order in the nation, there is peace in the world. It's when children are 15, 16, or 17 that they decide whether they want to be a doctor, an engineer, a politician, or go to the Mars or moon. That is the time they start having a dream, and that's the time you can work on them. You can help them shape their dreams. Dreams transform into thoughts and thoughts result in action. This is my belief that through difficulties and problems God gives us opportunity to grow. Dream is not that which you see while sleeping it is something that does not let you sleep. Look at the sky, we are not alone. The whole universe is friendly to us and conspires only to give the best to those who dream and work. Do not wait for something big to happen. Start where you are with whatever you have. Small aim is a crime. Have great aim. Dream the impossible if you want to become unique in life. Those who cannot work with their hearts achieve but a hollow, half-hearted success that breeds bitterness all around. Without your involvement, you cannot succeed. With your involvement, you cannot fail. Never stop fighting until you arrive at your destined place, that is, the unique you. Have an aim in life. Continuously acquire knowledge. Work hard and have perseverance to realize the great life. As a child of God, I am greater than anything that can happen to me. Be more dedicated to making solid achievements than in running after swift but synthetic happiness. We must think and act like a nation of a billion people and not like that of a million people. We should all create a nation that is one of the best places to live in on this earth and which brings smiles to a billion faces. If you want to shine like a sun, first burn like a sun. We will be remembered only if we give to our younger generation a prosperous and safe India, resulting out of economic prosperity coupled with civilization heritage. Why are we, as a nation so obsessed with foreign things? Is it a legacy of our colonial years? We want foreign television sets. We want foreign shirts. We want foreign technology. Why this obsession with everything imported? We should not give up and we should not allow the problem to defeat us. When you look at the light bulb above you, you remember Thomas Alva Edison. When the telephone bell rings, you remember Alexander Graham Bell. Marie Curie was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize. When you see the blue sky, you think of Sir C.V. Raman. Climbing to the top demands strength whether it is to the top of Mount Everest or to the top of your career. The youth need to be enabled to become job generators from job seekers. You see, God helps only people who work hard. That principle is very clear. To become unique, the challenge is to fight the hardest battle which anyone can imagine until you reach your destination. Man needs difficulties in life because they are necessary to enjoy the success. When we tackle obstacles, we find hidden reserves of courage and resilience we did not know we had. And it is only when we are faced with failure do we realize that these resources were always there within us. We only need to find them and move on with our lives. What is the secret of success? Right decisions. How do you make right decision? Experience. How do you gain experience? 
Wrong Decision Great dreams of great dreamers are always transcended. To succeed in your mission, you must have single-minded devotion to your goal. Be more dedicated to making solid achievements than in running after swift but synthetic happiness. Life is a difficult game. You can win it only by retaining your birthright to be a person. I firmly believe that unless one has tasted the bitter pill of failure, one cannot aspire enough for success. Excellence is a continuous process and not an accident. If you want to shine like a sun, first burn like a sun. Creativity is the key to success in the future, and primary education is where teachers can bring creativity in children at that level. Ultimately, education in its real sense is the pursuit of truth. It is an endless journey through knowledge and enlightenment. I was a disadvantaged child from a non-educated family, yet I had the advantage of being in the company of great teachers. Science is a beautiful gift to humanity. We should not distort it. While children are struggling to be unique, the world around them is trying all means to make them look like everybody else. Writing is my love. If you love something, you find a lot of time. I write for two hours a day, usually starting at midnight. At times, I start at 11. The purpose of education is to make good human beings with skill and expertise. Enlightened human beings can be created by teachers. Unless India stands up to the world, no one will respect us. In this world, fear has no place. Only strength respects strength. India has to be transformed into a developed nation, a prosperous nation and a healthy nation with a value system. My 2020 vision for India is to transform it into a developed nation that cannot be abstract. It is a lifeline. Today, India is a nuclear weapons state.